I'm turning into Martha with my tea loving habits. We must do a Wheel of Tea Week because whilst George and Mads may not like tea as far as I'm aware, me and Martha must persuade them we must do a tea week and tea drinkers unite. I just love this cup, it says drink it or dunk it and obviously that is the kind of thing that I do and I do both. I dunk my biscuits in there and I drink it. Tea is just one of the best drinks ever and I love it, Martha loves it. I like normal tea, like plain teas and just regular like Yorkshire tea. Martha I think likes flavoured tea and stuff but I'm not into that kind of thing. I am not a healthy person with what I eat or drink so I love just the normal tea, it tastes great and you know let's just have some more. I'm going to turn into an addict someday and I'll just be drinking all throughout the video like Martha does. She just has a cup up here like all the video. So this week is actually meant to be pairings and shippings week and at the beginning of the week if you did see in the intro I think I commented that I didn't know what that was and you know normally they come up with these sort of themes that I know about and at least that I would accept that I know something about and I could talk about them. This week I had no idea what it was. At the start of the week I quite simply thought that we were pairing each other up on the channel in relation relationships and I was quite disturbed about how it was going to work quite honestly but that is not what it's meant to be that is not the actual thing so that that is okay we're fine we're fine and then I understood that it was about books or films or anything like that that we fan about and I still don't really know what to talk about I have some ideas let's briefly mildly talk about the theme I'm going to suggest if this is correct because I'm not into this kind of thing does Katniss and Peter or Katniss and Gail count and then I think it's also in the Mortal Instruments as well I haven't read this but I think it's Clary and Jace or Clary and Simon. That is also another love triangle. And is it this kind of relationship thing? I'll just call them relationships but whatever they are, I don't know if that counts if that doesn't count but I don't have loads to say today so I'm just going to do a random vlog about stuff that I can talk about because there's a lot to talk about at the moment. May as well just talk about random things such as tea. But to be honest, if we're going to have a tea week that's dedicated to tea, let's not talk any more about tea. We just need to wait until that week and drink loads and everyone on the channel will drink tea. Everyone. I don't have any tea left. So what other things can I talk about? You're probably wanting to know and I'm going to talk about my holidays which I'm going on in about two weeks and I am so excited. I mean it sounds absolutely amazing. In case you don't know and watch my personal channel, I'm actually going to the Caribbean in the Dominican Republic to be more precise. That shall take about nine and a half hours to actually get there and that is a long time, you know, the longest flight I've ever been on. How am I going to survive? Here's the answer. I'm going to read books and I'm going to be reading the Harry Potter books on the plane from my holidays and throughout August as well if you can remember from the challenge week and I am so so excited about going because it's going to be absolutely amazing you know the weather and everything is going to be beautiful and sunny and I'm just really really excited to go and get out of this country where it seems to be raining in July it's quite sunny right now but it has been raining an awful lot and it's not right you know Florida and everything you know they're all passing out and stuff aren't you Martha and Matt and here we're just like we're freezing and we're shivering and you know earlier I was actually sat with a blanket on when I came home from school because it was so cold but anyway I will be going there and the weather should be really nice you know it is one of those countries that do have some storms and rain but it, apparently it's very warm rain and it doesn't last very long it's quite pleasant and sounds quite interesting I assume so you know there won't be as much rain as there is here what I will do when I go is I'll probably take little videos in a little vlog and I have never done this before when I've gone abroad I normally just take pictures but this year I'm going to do a difference and a bit like I did when I met Cassandra Clare actually a few weeks ago you would have seen on the video actually it wasn't a few weeks ago it was like two months ago or whatever that is absolutely insane that time has flown but whenever that was about two months ago just under two months ago I filmed little clips as you already saw and I'm going to do a quite similar thing really I think that'll be really fun just to show you how everything is and just to have sort of video footage I actually sometimes prefer that to pictures so I'm actually going to a five star hotel I'm really really excited for that and I'm sure it'll be a beautiful beautiful location. I've heard really, really good things and great reviews about that. I'm sure it'll just be absolutely so, so lovely. And unfortunately, I'm going to have to leave the channel for two weeks. I know. You're probably not going to miss me if I'm honest because there's not loads to miss really. But you know, you will not have a video for two weeks on Friday as far as I'm aware unless anyone else somehow just takes over my day for some weird reason, which is not allowed. There's no Friday because I'm not there. Okay? No, I'm not being strict. If someone wants to post an extra video, then that is absolutely fine could do a joint video or something but you know 
see how it goes but I'm going on Sunday the 5th of August so I won't have loads of communication when I'm over there if I'm honest I will be able to get Twitter and Goodreads on my iPod and on my Kindle but I won't go on much I'm not going to be a really internet freak I would like to take a little break for a little while and read you know just read and relax in the sun swim in the sea swim in the pool everything visit loads of places and just have a great time without the internet because I rely on it too much when I'm at home but what else is there to do and also today actually school finished it finished for the year for six weeks I am off and I can do what I want I'll obviously go on holiday for two of them weeks and then four of them weeks at home doing what I wish and I'm so excited because this school year has been okay I have achieved very good grades and I'm very happy about how everything went and I'm also glad that I can have a rest and get away from quite a few people at school I think I mentioned a few weeks ago actually people in school do not necessarily like me very much some people annoy me if they annoy me and don't respect me what can I expect from me you know I'm not just going to be so nice to people if they're really awful to me I actually say things how I feel I always speak my mind I do say what I want in a way I know this sounds really bad and makes me sound really awful but I believe that if you have something to say just speak your own word and opinion as long as it's not offensive and I never aim to be offensive and I don't think I ever am I just simply tell people to go away and stop annoying me otherwise there'll be worse things happening and they will know about it but obviously I never say that to anyone on YouTube everyone on YouTube is really nice so over the holidays I'll be doing lots of videos when I'm not on holiday and I am just so excited to get more subscribers on this channel and my personal channel which has almost got 500 subscribers at the current time of filming oh my gosh that is a lot a lot yes Thank you to everyone that subscribed. So I'm actually going to talk about a song now. Sorry about the random segues between each single topic, but it's how it is. I guess it relates to school in a way. A song that has really kept me motivated throughout the year and that has great meaning. I'm always quoting it on Twitter, always. You'll probably know what song it is because it's the only song I seem to quote, to be honest. I do quote others as well, but it is a Hunger Games song from the soundtrack album and it is Eyes Open by Taylor Swift. And I love it, you know, such a great meaning. At the moment, I've been really into reading the meanings of songs and looking into interpretations that people can make. After studying a lot of poems in English it's really inspired me and whilst it also inspired me to write my own poem which you can see on my personal channel I did a video for that and that is called Just Read and I basically talk about how people should read and that is a great thing and how it impacts so many lives and how it's just such a great thing that more people should do. But this song is really, I'm sorry I have it down here, I've got all the lyrics and things just so I remember. I actually, you know, I've got the chords and stuff because I've been playing on my piano so I've got the chords and stuff I won't play it for you today though because for one my singing is rubbish so it will sound ridiculous and so basically this song is talking about you've got something that someone else has not got and it, in a way in my opinion relates to sort of jealousy and obviously it is related to Hunger Games but I believe it can relate to other things outside of the Hunger Games as well you know it's a very wide and diverse song and talks about that you've got something they don't you've just got to keep looking keep running up that hill and just keep your eyes open keep your eyes where you need to be just ignore anyone else that annoys you or says anything else people will try to knock you down in life but you need to keep going because whilst they're waiting for you to fall down and fail that will not happen and you will succeed if you keep going with your eyes open because you've got something special about you you're a unique person and you just need to sort of have solid foundations about who you are and just be true to yourself and I think this song also carries so many more messages apart from that but there are just a few things that I picked out and I think it's a really really good one it really relates to me when I'm having a bad day I just sort of post on Twitter keep your eyes open and don't let anyone get you down so that is just you know it's a great song quite honestly and safe and sound as well is great which I also have over the page I don't think that's as meaningful actually and I actually preferred that when I first got the soundtrack album now I prefer eyes open it's my favorite song at the moment actually because of the meaning I love meaningful songs and some people say it's depressing music it's not you know even though it might be sad and it has a great meaning it is better than those random pop songs that go around just dancing people and just nothing and it's just not we it's just weird basically and they don't have a reason or a meaning for the song whereas all these songs have reasons and meanings anyway if you want to know more about that you know ask me in the comments i've kind of talked enough about that right now and i'm really rambling and stuff today but I suppose it's how it is. I'm really excited. It's the end of the school year. So, you know, what can you expect from me? Hopefully next week you'll get a really good video because, you know, I'll have all week to prepare it without school. And hopefully I'll be able to make a really, really fun video. Definitely check that out. I'm going to leave it here for today. I'm sorry I didn't really talk about the topic. And I'm sorry. I just 
didn't have anything to add. As I said at the beginning of the week, I was quite freaked out. I thought it was about pairing up in relationships on the channel. Then I found that it wasn't, and I don't even know if I've understood what I meant to do, but let's have fun. I hope you all enjoyed this video, found a bit about my life at the moment, and thanks for watching, and see you all again next week. <laughs>